Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion to rank five. My latest rank five, and I'm actually pretty excited about this one. And you guys are going to hear a story about how I chose this particular champion. All right, so we're going to go through five different options that I had and see if you guys can guess which one I took up. Okay, so the first option is going to be Hulkling. Now, if you guys remember, I was going to take Hulkling up to rank five over Hercules. And the only reason that I did not take Hulkling up over Hercules was that I figured that they were not going to bring Hercules back as a seven star. And if they did, eight stars might be out by then. Who knows? So I figured that Hercules, this was about as strong as he was going to get for the foreseeable future. All right. So I was like, let me just go ahead and get Hercules up there at rank five. But Hulkling was actually going to go up instead of Hercules. All right. Now, the next one is Kingpin. Now, Kingpin, I just recently took him, I think, to rank four. And he's a good champion. Nobody doubts that he is a good champion. And he's good in, I think, all the different game modes. Um, Battlegrounds, Alliance War, Alliance Quest, um, event quest, story content. He's just a great all-arounder, okay? And you often find him being banned in uh, Alliance War. So he is definitely an option, okay? The next one... Kitty Pride. Now, in my, I think my last rank five video, I don't think I put Kitty Pride as one of the options. I had just forgotten. Um, but as far as the mutants go, I can't think of a mutant that I would take over her. Unless it's a seven star mutant like Bishop, and I want to take him to rank two. I don't know if I'm ready for that just yet. We'll see as the time comes. All right. But Kitty Pride is crazy good. She is fun. And I've taken her up. And if you guys remember how much I love Ghost, Ghost is still ranked three. And Kitty is currently ranked four. And maybe ranked five very soon. All right, so Kitty is the next option. All right, another candidate is Scorpion. Now, you guys know that I have a bunch of rank fives in the different classes. I don't have a rank five as a mutant, and I don't have a rank five as a science. And so I'm thinking Scorpion is probably the best science champion to take up. Now, I love Hulk. And the only reason I don't take Hulk up to rank five is because he's available as a seven star and he doesn't really need to be awakened. And as soon as I get him as a seven star, he may go to rank two because he's Hulk, you know. Um, but we'll see. Um, he will go up once I get him. Question is, when? When is that going to happen? I don't know. All right. So Scorpion is a beast. He has, I think, the only immunity to uh, rupture. Um, I think now Lady Deathstrike, I think, also uh, is immune to rupture. I'm not sure. Um, but Scorpion is a, is, is a flexible champion. He has various immunities. He can be shock immune. He can be poison immune. He can be rupture immune. Um, I, I took Scorpion in against um, Bahamut, that boss. And on one path, 
he was virtually unkillable. Scorpio, it was ridiculous. Go look at my live stream and watch me using Scorpion against Bahamut. Scorpion just kept healing up. It was it was crazy. It was crazy. I made so many mistakes, and I still could have gotten the one shot with Scorpion. I had taken somebody else in um, before him. All right. Now, the next candidate and the last candidate candidate is Valkyrie. Now, I may have to abandon my take a rank five in every class thing because Valkyrie, she good. I like Valkyrie. And, you know, when she first came out, I was like, oh, I got to get her because, you know, I like Valkyrie. I like uh, the actress, Tessa, um, all of that good stuff, right? But then I started looking at some of the things she could do. And I remember hearing that she could handle Unstoppable, but I had not looked into how she could do it. So I tried to hit somebody that was unstoppable. I didn't have a Pierce buff up and got wrecked. And I'm like, well, what are people talking about? So I looked into her kit and I was like, oh, you just need one Pierce. Okay. So I got one Pierce and I'm just smacking them like they weren't unstoppable. Now in Battlegrounds, in the victory track, we have currently a meta where they go unstoppable periodically. She was wrecking stuff. It was amazing to be able to fight them and just ignore the unstoppable. You don't have to try to prevent the unstoppable. You can just ignore it. Just fight. And it was awesome. So having Valkyrie, I don't believe she's available as a seven star. So having her as a rank five, very good. And right now, with the, the way things are, I'm just going to start ranking up champions that I like, that I'm using, that I feel are going to be very useful. I'm not going to go with the new wave of things, you know, the hype train, as they say. No. If it's a champion that I really like, I'll take them up. If it's a champion that looks like they could be good, but they're still new, I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait. Um, and some of you already know why. Baron Zemo. All right. Anyway. So those are the candidates for my next rank five. We've got Hulkling. We've got Kingpin. We've got Kitty Pride. We've got Scorpion. And we've got Valkyrie. So who do you think I'm taking up? to rank five. Leave a comment below. See if you can guess. But we are about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Kingpin. So let me tell you how this happened. Now, if you watched my last rank five, you will notice that it was Nick Fury. So I was carefully selecting skill and I was hiding it from you guys because if you guys saw that I was stocking up on skill T6, you'd already know who I was going to take up. That would have been a no brainer, right? So I'm almost ready. I've got two and some in skill and I'm like, all right, we're almost there. And guess what happened? That's when we had the 4th of July sales and there was a bundle that allowed me to get a rank four and another rank five. I was like, huh, well, hmm, isn't that interesting? So I got that bundle. Now I had to think about what I was going to do. I could take one of the other champions to rank five. But it was going to take me a little bit of time. All right. And I'm like, man, I'm looking over my, my champions. And I'm like, okay, like these candidates that you see here um, that, that I showed you earlier, any of them I could have taken to rank five. But I had already had my heart set on getting Nick Fury to rank five. So I'm like, okay, if I use this gem 
this rank up gem on Nick Fury, I'm going to have to take another skill up. And I'm like, and you know what? I've been using Kingpin a lot. He's been very useful because I run the recoil masteries. Nick Fury is not the best with them, but Kingpin, he, he shrug them off. So I'm like, hmm, I like that. And since I've been doing uh, Battlegrounds a lot more, especially for this season, I'm like, he is, he is definitely the one I want to take up over pretty much any of the rest of these, except maybe Hulkling and uh, Scorpion for, for Battlegrounds I'm talking about. And I actually used him for Battlegrounds uh, today. And let me tell you, he was wrecking stuff, okay? So I hadn't thought about taking Kingpin up so soon, but because I decided to use my rank up gem on Nick Fury. Oh, and to hide this, I want you guys to go back to that video and look when I'm ranking up Nick Fury, look to the right with the rank up materials. And do you notice something that's not showing? I subtly slid it up so that you wouldn't see the T6 class catalyst. So you wouldn't have any idea that I was going to have to take a skill champion up next. Now, I also thought about taking up Mole Man. Honestly, Mole Man is, is crazy good where he is. I don't even have Mole Man at rank four yet. And I was like, I'm not going to take up another skill, you know. And then I was like, well, I think I might. I, I, I think I might. I might. Uh, anyway. Uh, later on today, because by the time you see this video, um, it'll be Tuesday, we're going to have a, a live stream and I'm going to be doing Battlegrounds. And so you're going to see him um, at rank five. So it's going to be spoiled anyway, but that's okay. I don't mind. All right. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Tell me what you think about Kingpin. I know you guys love him. If you know him, you love him. Okay. And let me tell you, at rank five, very nice. Very, very nice. All right? So take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Um, I also have to choose now what's the next class I'm going to choose. I, I, I don't know. I really don't. Um, am I going to take up Kitty Pride, Valkyrie, Scorpion, Hulkling finally? I don't know. Haven't decided yet. And I have to make a choice before this, um, before the battleground store resets so that I can grab the proper uh, T6 class catalyst. So we'll see. You could also leave suggestions in the comments as to who I should take up next. All right. So take care and you all have a blessed day.